the reason that this bill was written the way it was was to challenge the 1973 Roe v. Wade decision that basically said the person growing inside of a mother is not a human, it's just a clump of cells, and it does not, it's not able to have any of the protections under our Constitution. So the bill was written in a way to challenge that because we know um, we have 4D ultrasounds now. We know without a doubt, um, I think many people knew back in 1973 it was a human person also, but it's undeniable that it is a separate, unique individual growing inside that mother. So you, so and you okay, we so you, want... Yeah, I get it. So you, you would, you're completely anti any abortion being legal at all? I am for the life of the unborn. No, I get that, but my, my question was, but do you want to criminalise abortion so that every woman who has an abortion in America becomes a criminal and has to be punished accordingly? The law in Alabama, the woman is not criminalized it's at all. Doctor. She is not yeah. brought under any charges whatsoever. Yeah. It is the abortion doctor. It's a class A felony if an abortion is... is it happens. If an attempted abortion is caught, then that is a class C felony. Right. That but, means, but, so but that the, means the in woman the case and of the, an attempt, the mother is not. Yeah, the doctor then faces 10 years in prison for attempting to carry out an abortion, but 99 years no. in prison for actually carrying no, out the procedure. No, actually, a, a, cl a class A felony is a 10-year for the first... Uh, if, if the doctor performs an abortion, it can be 10 years for the first offense up to 99 years yeah. for repeated okay, offenses. But the bottom, if it's an attempted right, but, abortion, it's one year. OK, but the bottom it's line, the bottom line uh, uh, Becky Garrison, is that women would not better go yes. anywhere in America to have a legal abortion. That's, that's your position, right? Correct. They would have to leave the country if they wanted to have one. Yes. Right. Do you and, and maybe we should stop, start at common ground. Um, what is an abortion? And, well, and I, just start to, with to that. To be fair, I think, every, I think it, to be fair, everybody okay. knows what an abortion is. Sure. Um, <clears throat> the trouble, I think, okay. with a lot of this, it, it, I mean, obviously, it's extremely sensitive. Um, and, yes. and you're talking about, you know, when a, when a baby becomes a baby and becomes a human life. One of the issues here is that Alabama has decided to ban abortion, even in the cases where a woman has been raped or where... A, a young woman, any age woman, child potentially, is the victim of incest. Right. Now, if right. a woman like that goes desperate to a doctor and the doctor knows that they face up to 99 years in prison for performing an abortion, a lot of people would think that that was right. a fairly extreme position. Why would you not protect, protect right. a child, for instance, who's been raped or the victim of incest in those cases? Well, a couple, of, a couple of reasons, and this is such an important issue. First of all, the rape and incest is less than 1% of abortions. So I know right now everyone is screaming rape and incest, rape and incest. If that's really all you care about, then you should be trying to abolish the 99% of abortions that are taking place. But let me go back to the rape and incest. The studies done by, um, they're in the research of Dr. Reardon's book that talk about when a woman is raped and is impregnated, her, if she has an abortion, she is four times more likely to die within the year of that abortion than those than ones who would give birth. Also, <clears throat> after the trauma of a rape, then you're going to add the multiple trauma. An abortion is a big deal. It is not just like having a gallstone yeah. removed. Okay, so there just to clarify, just to clarify, we're going to come to we're going to come to Mark Clark in a moment. Yes. Just to clarify, I mean. If you, had okay. been, if you had been raped, for example, or impregnated by a family member when you were 13, you're saying that you think the right thing to do in that circumstance is for you to be compelled to have that child. Otherwise, whoever well, performs an abortion on you right. would, would go to prison for 99 years. I mean, that's your position. I believe that that child has a right to live. It's not the child's fault. What and it's the, better what about the 13 year old what about the 13 feeling. What about 13 year old girl's right not to have to bear a rapist's baby? What about that right? 
What about the right to not have to bear well, the baby if you've been impregnated by a family member? And here's my other problem with what's going on in Alabama. Because even Donald Trump doesn't agree with half of this stuff, mm. right? He's saying he, he, he totally says that if a woman's been raped or is impregnated through incest or uh, there's a, a worry about her, her medical health, then she should be allowed to have one, right? Uh, in Alabama, the death penalty still exists, right? Do you support the death penalty? Yes, I do. Right, so you're not actually pro-life, are you? I mean, you take life left, right and centre. You know, Alabama also has no, some of the... they're two completely well, Alabama, different. Well, I know, you, you say they're yeah, two no. different things, but yeah, life, is, life, different is, things. life is life. Life is an life. Life is life. Alabama human. legally takes no. people's lives... No, 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 no. ..when they One do things wrong. One is punishment for a crime. Right. And it's justice. I get it. I it's get completely it. completely different. I get it. And, and also, Alabama, some of the weakest gun laws in America. <laughs> so people are shooting themselves to death, left, right and centre, lawfully encouraged by lax... Po well, I know you're laughing. I don't find it funny that people are dying left, right and centre no, in Alabama from guns. No, they're not shooting themselves to death in Alabama. It's just funny to hear you say it like that. Um, yeah. Because I live here and, and it's not that way. Um, but you know what? I have a right to carry a gun. And I do carry a gun at times, and right. I hope I never have to use it. You would shoot somebody but if you had to, right? I, why should the criminals... I get it. You, you would shoot somebody if you had to, right? Yes, I would. Okay, so you, you would take Absolutely. life... So people in Alabama would take life with guns, they'd take life through executions, and yet they want us to think that the reason women would not be allowed to have an abortion if they're raped or get impregnated through incest is because you're pro-life. I get it. OK, let's go to uh, Mara Clark. <laughs> Good morning. There are lots of inconsistencies here, it seems to us. However, we're here in the UK, very different mood about the debate here than there is in America. This is a big deal in America, and there is a real movement now in states like Alabama to force this back to the Supreme Court to potentially get Roe versus Wade, this seminal piece of legislation which allow women to legally have abortions in America overturned, which would basically mean it would become illegal for any woman in any circumstances to have an abortion. That's correct. And it's very, very scary. And it's also something that's been happening for quite some time. So Alabama at the minute only has three abortion clinics. So it's a very big state and states around Alabama uh, Georgia, Missouri, they're also passing these really restrictive laws. If you ban abortion, do you actually, in practical terms, stop women aborting? So I know exactly what happens because the Abortion Support Network has been helping women in Ireland and Northern Ireland and the Isle of Man, which have had very restrictive mm -hmm. abortion laws. So what happens is women with money have the option to travel mm -hmm. and women without money are either forced to continue right. pregnancies or they do dangerous and desperate things. And I'm not, I'm not speaking metaphorically. I'm saying that before finding our phone number, we had a woman, a mother of four, who was literally trying to figure out how to crash her car to cause a miscarriage, but not permanently injure herself right. or die. And people do take those extreme moves when they feel like it's, it, the repercussions of not doing that are just unthinkable. And the thing to remember is that in America and here, fifth, over 50% of women who have abortions already have at least one child. See, the thing I object to in this whole debate is that there's somehow that, you know, if, you're, if you support a woman's right to have an abortion, somehow you are anti-life. Mm. It's the way they categorise this. You know, we're pro-life. And yet, in Alabama, they have the death penalty. They have lax gun laws and so on. You know, it's not a state I would go to in America if I thought that they really preserve the sanctity of life. They take it whenever it suits them, right? But so this thing that somehow they're the pro-life people and the rest of us are anti-life if we support a woman's right to it. Well, this is something that we've been saying for years and years as well, is that I'm pro-life. I'm pro my life, I'm pro your life, I'm pro my daughter's life. Mm. And I'm also pro-personal choice. So the, the Republican Party in America really likes small government, apparently so small it's going to control my reproductive system. So they should be all about personal choice. And if I got pregnant or if you got pregnant, I think that decision should be taken with an unbiased healthcare professional and where appropriate mm. with your partner there and your are, God. There are people who think that abortion is too easily available and therefore some women are too careless about their own reproductive health. Is there mm. any factual evidence uh, supporting that? Interestingly... If you ban abortion, do people just get more careful about preventing pregnancy? 
Uh, you can be as careful as you want. I can tell you every kind of birth control that you can be on and still get pregnant, mm. um, unfortunately. Also, this argument that, oh, you're so irresponsible, you had unprotected sex, let's give you a baby. Mm. Because those take no responsibility at all. Mm. But just this idea that a baby should be a punishment for a careless mistake or a or broken a I just think the idea, the idea you would compel a 13-year-old, 12-year-old girl mm. who'd been raped to have that baby is, to me, unconscionable. Mm. Mm. That, that somehow you would criminalise that uh, situation is, to me, extraordinary. It is also, it is also worth pointing out that even though you say there's a different case here in the UK than there is in the States, we still have part of the UK, Northern Ireland, right. where Ireland. abortion is illegal. Right. 100%. And also, you know, not, again, not speaking metaphorically, last year we had a pregnant 12-year-old. Right. And her right. parents were living in the Republic of Ireland before the, this was a, a publicised case, before the law went through that made abortion legal in some circumstances in Ireland. The parents didn't have passports. Mm. Mm. They had to get passports. They had to raise money. You know, you have yep. to travel over here. You have to pay privately for the procedure. They needed childcare for their other kids because yep. they weren't going to send their 12-year-old by herself. This is, this is already in America people are travelling. I don't think any woman... No woman goes through this. It's not an easy thing for any woman to ever have to go through, nope. right? Bottom line, this is a big, big thing in their lives. I'm sure lives with every woman that ever has an abortion. But this, this, this stuff going on in Alabama is medieval. It's medieval.